decision to move here to Japan. I wanted to learn from some of the best people here in the country, uh, how to drift essentially, how to control my car and learn how to drive. I wanted to start competing here in Japan. I wanted to start, you know, driving in D1 or Formula Drift Japan. <laughs> get into the drifting can I just say can you believe this is what 2020 looks like hopefully we can get into formula drift soon and get up to that kind of level and start doing well <laughs> Welcome to today's video everybody. Today's video is something really special. Something that I didn't think was going to actually happen for a very long time. Um, something where I was giving an amazing opportunity to, I guess, jump in the deep end. Something that this whole entire channel has been founded on. And that is the goal of getting to competitive drifting here in Japan. Now I have a very special guest with me today. Some of you guys might be able to start guessing what's going on by the signs and things behind me. But uh, we'll let the video drag out a bit, shall we? We're here with my good friend, Robbie Nishida. Hi, guys. The, the dad. Gals. The yeah, dad of um, Formula okay. Drift Japan. Oh, no. <laughs> I love my over there. Oh, welcome. I mean, uh, it's not like I work here, but I uh, work with them. So just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, what MSC is and uh, you know, kind of talk about more things after that too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, this is Robbie Nishida, and he has a pretty cool history actually in the USA, competing over there in Formula Drift. Really amazing driver, got to drive a 35 GTR, which was pretty cool. Got some good results, and now he's just kind of chilling here in Japan. Yeah. Running yeah. everything here, making sure young people got a second, like, like, like got, got chances at competing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, just uh, trying to, I guess, uh, pay back to the sport that I love. I grew up, I, I have no kind of uh, motorsports background or history or anything. The only thing I did was drift. And yeah, you know, everybody, everybody goes through the, you know, doing the bad things. But I think uh, starting the competition and everything kind of changed my vision. And it kind of grew into a career and also gave me a lot of opportunities. The most of all is uh, cars kind of got me to, to, to be able to link up with a lot of people, friends all over the world, you know. Um, this is something amazing, so I just figured that something this amazing shouldn't be kept on, you know, just a few guys. It should be uh, shared with everybody else in the world. So, you know, all the younger guys have an opportunity to come out, uh, showcase their, you know, if it's their skill or, you know, their driving techniques or their cars, mm -hmm. anything, you know. It's 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 just, uh, I don't know, there's, there's no limit. The sky's the <laughs> limit, so want to show <laughs> let me let me butt in before he gets on another dad rant um <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. if you know robbie personally you know I he know. loves these tangents and to be honest i love them so much because i get so much wisdom out of this guy but before we get into another tangent um robbie nishida is currently one of the judges for formula drift japan fd uh t sorry j2 japan um he also does some judging from time to time for fd usa um, and what other stuff do you do? Oh, he's just all around a great guy, like family dude. Um, he got his shop open to helping a lot of people on base and stuff like that. A lot of base people probably know you on a personal level as well. He's just a really good guy. And honestly, out of everyone that I have met in the scene, he's probably one of the nicest dudes. He'll sit down with anyone, have a good old chat to you, tell you what you need to do or what he thinks you need to do. <laughs> Let, hence making, the name. You're, you're making hence me name. sound way too better than how I am. <laughs> No, but for real, I have a lot of respect for Robbie Nishida and what he's brought to the sport. And I'd like if you guys could as well. If that's what I'm trying to say. I love this dude to pieces. Yeah, I'd cuddle him please. if I could. <laughs> right, Anyways, so, so show us that. this building. What is this building? So this is MSC, uh, which is Motorsport Com. 
Um, <laughs> this is a company that, you know, the owner of the company um, actually bought this uh, building a while back because of motorsports. Mm -hmm. And let me go ahead and show you real quick inside. Uh, Before we go inside, order. MSC, this is like pro spec in the USA, right? The MSC competition. Uh, actually, the MSC competition, it's more like a pro-am. A pro-am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. pro-am, sorry. Pro -am. Yeah, pro-am. Yeah. And then J2 would be more J2 like pro spec. Pro -spec then and then, FG, well, they call it J1, but J1. FG, uh, Formula Drift US. Um, is on that level. Yeah, same level. All right. Similar level. So um, there's like three levels here in Japan too. There's MSC, then there's J2, and then there's, I guess, Pro. We'll just yep, call it yep. Formula Drift Japan. Yep. So yeah, this is a compound and this used to be, he used to be like into like super hardcore, like GT cars, race cars, and all this other stuff. So this was a shop that, um, I don't know, fixed Porsches and wow, there's a lot cool. of like Porsche parts and stuff sitting around, but let's go ahead and- Yeah, I see there's some inside. Porsche like um, stuff on the wall there. Oh, there's some more here too. Yeah, so I mean, these got of course sticker, and then these have tools. I think they cleaned out a lot of this uh, before. Oh, but it still looks like an epic workshop. Yeah, but I mean, they have like well, just old school stuff. They have like dude, um, but this stuff is jets, so good. Car, you know, jets and all yeah. stuff from like maybe in the '70s and stuff like that. Welders in Japan blow my mind. Like some of these like old like transformers and inverters and stuff. Yeah, it's funny, they look like that, but they still kind of work. Oh, they work really good, yeah. too. Some of the guys in the States are always, like, asking, like, how to get those. I know, um, but then you're going to have a hard time, like, because everything's in kanji. Yeah, true, true. Like, <laughs> get the Google Translate out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. And, you know, just, they have, you know, obviously, any shop with the tires. That looks like a 1JZ manifold. Just, you know. Yeah, oh, yep, know, there's a 2JZ there. Just there. Yep. And um, for FDJ2, mm. It's a spec tire series. Okay. So um, I think all the tires from Yokohama comes here first. Ah. Then they send it to the individual individual drivers so that they don't have any side cuts where people will be using uh, a tire that's not uh, supposed to be in the series. Okay. So they kind of regulate it where it's like everybody has to get a tire from here. They paint mm. the tire, they mark the tire oh, and okay. send it to the driver so they can't uh, resell it. They can't. Um, get another cheater compound tire yep. or anything so it's just going to be everybody on the same tire so that's actually really cool because like that would also prevent drivers from getting different batch tires that may have a better compound yeah, yeah. or something like that and as some well people, i mean i think it's really hard to believe to nowadays but this will kind of uh make you know that it's it's regulated so you yeah. don't have to worry about oh yeah he's using something better than me. yeah yeah it's more about the driver skill i think than in that case if everyone's locked to the same size tire and same oh, tire yeah. like oh, that's yeah, awesome definitely. so it's going to be all about you're on the same tires, it's gonna be set up, um, the driver skill, and uh, obviously now the competition is getting bigger. Having a good spotter, you know, yeah. getting uh, information uh, is really important. Um, that's something that I have kind of, I think Japan is kind of lacking in still because in the US, uh, time to time I take a picture of the spotter tower where yep. it's no joke. I mean, they yeah. take down every second, they got stopwatches, they got speed guns. Wow. You know, they, they make sure that they have all the information that the driver needs um, just in case you're going to be going against them for the competition. So, I mean, it's no joke. Yeah, that's insane. That's crazy cool. So that's what all this is, is like just tire stock and stuff. Yeah. Um, at time, there was, uh, I think there was like, I forgot however many hundred, like 200, 300 Jeez. tires or something. But yeah. Um, but. Well, I got it. Talk, yeah. All I, right. I and, you know, <laughs> we just keep catching Rocky yeah. on a tangent. I love you, man. Hey, just, just, just make it like. I'll, I'll show it out. It's all good. But honestly, like it, everyone who knows you is probably rolling on the floor right now. Yeah, they're probably like, God damn, like old guy talk. My son says that. And he's like, oh, <laughs> he's lecturing again, you know. Real quick, I'll introduce you to the, the boss man. Sounds good. So their company is MSC. Yeah. Their company is MSC, mm -hmm. and they're the company that actually runs Formula J uh, Japan series, and also um, the events. They do numerous events in Japan, yep. automotive related. So this is Mr. Iwata. Hey, hello. Sam. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Hello. So Mr. Iwata speaks some English too. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our office. <laughs> Thank you. We're, we're getting ready for the first round coming up around the corner, so it's a little bit busy in here. But then, yeah, so Formula Drift Japan um, uh, is a sister series of the FD US, obviously, and also mm -hmm. we have an FDJ2 series, the Spec Tire series, just like the Pro Spec in the US. And. Let's go with it. Hey! What is that? <laughs> I am beyond excited right now. So here's a banner of FDJ2, and guess what? 
It's like, is that for me? It's kind of obvious, but you know, you're here for something. We're here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Iwata wants to welcome you to the FDJ2 series. I'm beyond excited. Thank you welcome so much. to FDJ2. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, this is, I get it. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. <laughs> you want me to open it or what? Hey, I want to see a camera. <laughs> <laughs> you guys mind if I take my mask off? Yeah, go ahead. I'm reading like a kid in a candy store. I'm actually kind of shaking now. <laughs> Sick. So you guys who follow the channel know how much of a big deal this is. You guys know that since we started, like the first video I've always talked about the dream is working up to formula drifting competition level here in Japan. And this is the first real chance, real step in that direction. I mean, we've kind of we've kind of made it. I mean, the next step is Pro One or Pro, right? Um, and this is just before that. Hey, this is uh, <laughs> this is just the beginning, man. This is just the beginning, and that's insane to think Look about. Look he's happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> he's oh happy, that bitch. Good. Good. See this. Arigato gozaimasu, hontoni. Yeah, so um, come check out the events. Mm -hmm. I know there's traveling traveling restrictions, and you know, those of you in the U.S., it's almost hard to come to Japan uh, right now. But then er, all the foreign drivers and people that are in Japan who likes cars, and Japanese people, everybody, you know, yeah. just come out to the events. Uh, come smell the smoke. Uh, come uh, feel the excitement. And also, you know, if you can't um, come, you know, you mm -hmm. can just watch it on live stream as well because we're gonna have it. And uh, hopefully, you'll be able to catch the uh, social media. Uh, yeah. Stuff that FD Japan has, so you can check out the you know the dates and the times and everything for FD. Definitely. And just to add to that as well, guys. Obviously, I'm going to be pushing all the social media stuff that I can, so that you guys can watch me competing in FDJ2, as well as the Pro Series as well. Um, a fair few weekends line up where the competitions are all on the same, but then others are a little bit separate. So I'll make sure all that info is out there for you guys. But uh, I mean, Iwata-san, uh, he's he runs FD Japan, right? And he's got a pretty cool history for driving over here. Do you want to yeah. just give us a quick run through of what he used to do? So, I just want to explain to you, Iwasa. What? Just a car guy. Yeah, he's just a car guy. He's just a car guy. You know, a lot of Japanese people are bashful about, you know, explaining, but then... I'm going to explain it for you real quick. I mean, he's dealt with GT teams and various motorsports and ran motorsports and ran teams and stuff like that. You know, as the years went by, he settled in by, um, he took over the MSC events, which is the old BM High, uh, the battle magazine events that they oh, had. Oh, wow. They run the MSC. So MSC is pretty much the, the, the new uh, generation of the uh, battle magazines. Oh, cool. He ran that for a while, and he had an opportunity to, you know, we worked with D1 before as well, and uh, he uh, was able to link up with the former Drift US guys, and they took on the former Drift Japan series, and it's been, what, six years? Seven years? Eight years. Eight year. There eight you know, years. Eight years. So I think the first ones were like exhibitions and stuff like that, but now so we have... Yeah, years. with the exhibitions, we have full nine years. So nine eight years. years of uh, competition. And yeah, and he's still going, so... And you still love it? Still running. Still running? <laughs> Do you still enjoy it though? Do you still love it? Yeah. Yeah? Are you sure? <laughs> There's a lot of hardship behind all this too. So, I mean, we, you know... Obviously, it's 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 for the fun, yeah. And it's not just for you know trying to make profit and stuff like that, but it's it's for the fun for the sports, and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. Yes. Yeah. I think. Enjoy. I think. Enjoy. I think I'm we do. I'm proud of our uh, drifting guy hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So definitely, Iwata San is someone who loves the sport through and through, and definitely Robbie as well. It's good to actually know these guys on a personal level. No, I'm really excited. I, I seriously can't. I'm gonna have to get some tips from you though. You're gonna have to, you know, come drive with me at Ebisu, help me work on my tandem technique maybe. <laughs> I'm too old, man. I can't learn anything. Everybody's new school, so yeah. All right, cool. Well, uh, let's maybe, I mean, do you want to show anything else in the office or anything? Yeah, let's, let's check out the, he, they have a lot of cool stuff in here. I mean, I, I don't know like how much of a history, I mean, uh, like, uh, you were checking this out earlier. Yeah. And these are some of the trophies. You got the carbon right here for, mm. um, I think this was sent from, you know, a form of the Drift US. This one. Like this Orito. one for Iwata. Mm. Orito-san's Orito's helmet. helmet. Taniguchi. Taniguchi's helmet. Nobu-san. Oh, they were Dominic Shoga. Oh, Dominic. Dominic. That's cool. Wow. So, Orito and the Dominic drive this car. Yeah, GT and that GT500, right? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, Ine. He, he bought it all that. He bought all that from Yahoo Auction Japan. 
<laughs> probably <laughs> probably <laughs> would be a small a fortune, wouldn't it? Why are you not? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what does MSC stand for? Just motor sports? Motorsport com. Competition or com? Just com. Just com. Okay. Yeah. Super dot com. Cool. Dot com. <laughs> That's actually smart. <laughs> I like that. And then we got Formula Drift Japan and a couple other brands I guess they work with. Yeah. Super cool. These yeah. are cool, the individual carburetors. Is this for an L series engine? Yeah, it's a, I think those are 50 Solexes. So. 50 Solexes? <laughs> you know about that. That's yeah. from your era, yeah. right? So, yeah, that's worth a lot of money right there. <laughs> yeah, now that is. It is. Yeah. Very, very cool. A nice little Ferrari collection down here. Oh man, I'm hyped. Once again, thank you so much for this opportunity. I cannot thank like you. describe to you in words how amazing this feels. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's have a chat. Damn, this seat is really comfortable. This is a bright, yeah, it's a bright gaming chair. This thing is epic. Anyways, so what I want to talk to you guys about is obviously we are competing in Formula Drift Japan this year in the J2 series. And as we were explaining before, Japan has three major categories, right? You got the Pro-Am equivalent one, which is MSC. You've got Pro-Spec equivalent one, which is J2, that's where I'm driving. And then um, you have Formula Drift Japan Pro, equivalent of just Formula D in the USA, the pro level. My goal this year is to drive my absolute 110% best that I can, get as many points on the board as we can, level up and get our Formula Drift Japan Pro license so we can drive with the big boys, right? I know I'm getting thrown in the deep end as it is now, but if there's one thing that I have learned through my entire life is I thrive in the deep end. You throw me in the deep end, I will figure out what I need to do to get there and survive and swim. So that aside, I'm really excited jumping into this. I know we're gonna do well. I know it may take a couple rounds and everything, which we'll get into my next topic there about rounds, um, but I know that we can do this and especially with you guys supporting me. Moving into the next topic is the first round for Formula Drift Japan J2 starts next weekend. And you're probably sitting there going, huh, that's really close, Sam. And yes, it is. And that is also why I'm going to be skipping the first round. Um, the reason for this is just, well, first of all, S15 is not ready. Um, that thing needs a new engine or we need to figure something out there. I don't even know what's going on, but the engine's out of the S15 right now. And um, all my other cars, like to get them up to spec and all that kind of stuff. I need to join a team, by the way. I, I'm not gonna just start my own team and rock up there with like a tent and work on my car by myself. Like I need to have people helping me and everything. So there's a bunch of stuff that needs to happen behind the scenes. The next round that we can jump in is in two months time. And I'm very, very confident with everything that we have happening on the back end right now that we will make that round. Now, moving into the second thing is obviously completing in Formula Drift costs a lot of money, like a lot of money, even in the pro spec, you know, J2 category that I'm in right now. Now, by my math and everything that I'm gonna be doing, it's gonna cost me anywhere from $150,000 to $200,000 this year to be able to compete and be competitive. So that all aside, um, this is where, um, of course, we're gonna have amazing sponsors on board, guys helping out and everything, but one thing is I wanna be very straightforward to you with the Formula Drift program and what we're doing, and I wanna just give you guys raw numbers and tell you so that you see this behind the scenes thing. Like, while I'm competing and everything that's going on, I'm gonna always give you that straight up honest behind the scenes look at what I am doing, because like I said at the start of this video, this is what I have always wanted to do. Like I, when I started this this whole YouTube channel, the first things that I can remember is like follow my journey as we work up to competitive drifting here in Japan and driving in you know the Formula Drift series. So th we're finally here. We're we're right there. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are gonna wanna be a part of that. I know a lot of you guys wanna support me even further. And that's why I'm gonna be doing a pre-order merch pack for people who wanna support me and the Formula uh, drift program that I'm gonna be running. So I'm gonna be doing a merch pack. It's gonna have a bunch of items in there. It'll be like a shirt, you know, lanyard, keychain stickers and all that kind of stuff. I'm still waiting for the graphic designer to finalize it. Um, by this time, there should be a graphic here showing you guys what it is. That's gonna be on the website, samit.net and it's gonna be a pre-order. I'm gonna only leave it open till um, the next like two weeks and then it's gonna close and then there's gonna be a month's period of time where we get everything made and sent and shipped to everybody, okay? So I'm just being straight up and honest. 
It's a way that you guys are able to support me, but I'm not gonna ask for free handouts, right? I want you guys to be able to get something for your money and stuff like that. I would rather actually give you guys a product that we can make that you guys feel like you're actually a part of this. So um, I'm gonna have the link to that down in the description. Once again, it's a pre-order and um, like I, I hate doing pre-orders, but this is the only way to do this and make it exclusive to those that really wanna support me. And um, we're gonna do it as best as we can. We're gonna make sure everyone gets their items, everything will be shipped with DHL Express as well. So once we do ship everything, you'll get it in three, like, like some people get their stuff from our merch shop in like 48 hours, which is insane. But normally it's three business days that people get their stuff. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. You guys have supported me this whole journey up until now. Um, I've only been doing YouTube videos here on the channel for three years, seriously, from when, you know, due to an unfortunate circumstance, I lost my job and we've worked ourselves up to this. And now we're up to this, like we're up to this. Like, I, words do not express how excited I am about this. Like, maybe one day I'll be able to, you know, hold, hold this. You know. <laughs> I'm sure we will, I'm sure we will. But you guys have been along here for the journey for so long now, and we're finally at that point. We are there, we're almost there. And it's just gonna keep getting bigger and better from here. Like this isn't the end, this is just the start. And I'm super excited to have amazing people around me like Robbie Nishida, Okachan from Yashio Factory, and then all the other guys that run FD here to give me advice and everything like that. I am just really excited. And I'm only here because of you guys. And I just like, I want you guys to understand that I've only been able to be this successful because of you. And I just really wanna make sure that you guys understand that, that you guys have supported me, you've watched my videos, you've subscribed, you've liked, you've commented, you've given me, you know, really good feedback and criticism that I've then applied to my life and my journey. And yeah, I wanna say thank you to you. But I also hope that this also is a big thank you to you because we freaking made it. Like we're, we're there. <laughs> I still can't believe this is happening. Well, overall, amazing day. We got to talk to the guys who run the show and everything behind the scenes. I'm actually really excited. They've got some super good ideas this year for Formula Drift's um, live stream. And I was able to give them a few like tips and pointers and we talked about a bunch of stuff there. So I'm really excited about what these guys are working on for the live stream. It's gonna be awesome. Um, one really funny thing I wanted to share with you guys though. So they also gave me the stickers that go on the car and there was a little, uh, a little mishap with uh, my name. L. Summer. <laughs> I love it. It's actually it's actually awesome. So it's supposed to be San, uh, S. Lucas, right? But uh, just the way that like, Japanese names, like normally the first name is like the last. Anyways, it was a bit of a confusion there, so they're gonna fix that for me. But I'm gonna share with you guys my number, number 11. If you guys know, I my birthday is 1111, literally November 11th, 1111. Now I couldn't get four ones, they only let me do three digits, so I went with 11. And I'm super excited that we, we actually, that number was available, so. I'm hyped on that. Once again, I am beyond hyped that we're competing in Formula Drift J2 this year. Um, just, I'm so mind blown. And I just wanna say a massive thank you, obviously, to the guys that run Formula Drift in the USA and Japan. Like, I love what you guys are doing for the sport. And I, I love what you guys are just doing in general. And obviously, a big thank you to Robbie Nishida, a big thank you to Iwate san um, I'm so ready to jump into this with my all. And uh, we got some other really exciting stuff coming up around this subject. Um, so stay tuned and make sure you hit that link down in the description. Go to semit.net, show your support, guys. Grab one of those pre order bundles. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to get out there, show everyone what I can do, have fun, but also be super competitive and just slay. Like absolutely just slay. I don't even know what to say. I'm so excited. I, I just, I keep feeling like I'm gonna wake up from a dream. Like, I don't know, somewhere along the way, I just, I kept saying it and I was wondering if it was ever gonna happen and it's happening. It feels amazing. I love you guys. I, I really hope this video shows you that if you set your mind to something and you really work hard that you will achieve anything. And yeah, once again, thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm ranting on, but I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out. Jump up.